Casey's Crazy Kitchen. So, another episode of Casey's Crazy Kitchen. We're going with some teriyaki salmon today. I'm starting with the washing of the ginger. This is all the prep work now. Are we talking chunky? Fine. You're talking fine like me. You got that on camera, right? You're talking fine like I'm me, edit right? That out. No. <laughs> and uh, you keep in mind, folks at home, that you will probably find more efficient ways to skin the ginger. Me personally, I'm not that athletic, I'm not that coordinated, so it's going to look like a butcher. I do got to say, if you're cooking red meat, you can get away with a little finger in there. Mm, no, you can't. Little, you might be able to. Nobody will notice. It's all red meat. We're going to go finer than that for sure. Better not be my pubes on that ginger. Should I be the sweetest chef? No, no you just got to really be the crazy kitchen, but that's fine. Yeah. However you want to tell Well, basically, we, we chopped up a bunch of ginger, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go half and half. This half in a bowl with some garlic and some teriyaki. This side here. What we're going to do is we're going to throw this in with the broccoli. Mm -hmm. How much garlic are we going to do? Me personally, I'd either go six or nine. I don't know what your favorite number is. Eight. Your favorite number... Hold on. You know what my favorite number is? Number two. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we are doing in now? Oh wait, I, I can't use Italian because we're not cooking Italian. We're doing Japanese. And I I don't want to be racist. Chopper, we chopper the garlic. I don't want to do that. You're going to edit all this shit out. All due respect to Japanese people, we're going to cook some teriyaki salmon and we'll try not to be racist while we do it. Can I say this on camera? Even though, right now, I am literally chink eyed. <laughs> You're going to have to edit that one out. And when you say smoke break, man, I hope that's what you were talking about. Like, mm. oh, we just started. I wouldn't even Hold think on. about that yet. we got a long ways to go. Again, don't try this at home. You shouldn't do what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm somewhere in there with the garlic. Um, and what's going to go in here is going to be, we're going to start off with a couple of teriyaki. Yeah, a couple of teriyaki. Alright. Alright. It out of the bottle. I should have just took the plastic thing off of this, like teriyaki salmon. <clears throat> teriyaki salmon. We're gonna throw some brown sugar up in there. Should I just dip my finger in there, you think? Would that be sweet enough? And this is pretty chunky, like there's one. There's there you two. Go. He's good. Oh, he's going with the red pepper flakes. And uh I don't, I don't know, I don't know how, where you stand with the, I can handle some pepper. Somewhere in there. We're gonna go one of hoisin. It's looking good, like, we got some consistency there. Time to get the fish marinating. Like, if we're gonna give it a half hour, 45 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we have the wild coho salmon fillets. The meat, a little bit redder. I don't know about you, but wild is wild. Farm raised is farm raised. I'm not necessarily sure the importance of rinsing the fish, but me personally, I like to get the sliminess off. Just get the slime off. Just because we're going to be cooking with oils, we're going to go ahead and pat that. Mm. And if you want to, you can beat it like King Kong, like that. Like you know, you can you can make some music if you want. Here we go with the ginger, garlic, teriyaki. Just enough to get that bottom of the pan lined a little bit. All right. So this is what we have jumping off so far, and what we're going to add to that is some more of the ginger, garlic, teriyaki sauce. Boom. We're going in the fridge for about half hour, maybe 45 minutes. We'll see how we no, like to play. 20 minutes half hour. Well, when do I get my cigarette? I... Not now. We have a lot of other things to do. All right. 
Cut. I thought I got a cigarette, but what we're doing right now is we're cutting up the broccoli. I don't know if you understand this recurring theme. We tend to like things uniform. That way they all cook the same. I think I think maybe next episode we go with the jail shoes. As long as we're here, and so is the ginger and the Marianne, we're gonna toss it up into Gilligan's Island. This this is what this is. Four cloves of the garlic. And I'm sorry, Mr. Director, sir, we're we're putting this where? And this can go right on top of the broccoli. Cramming this all on top of the broccoli. We don't need to cram it. Spread it out as evenly as you can, I guess. So from yes. here, we're going with the, the peanut oil. If you can just manage to get a nice little drizzle. And um, then a little splash of the sesame oil, the flavor. Little splash of sesame. Red pepper flakes. Oh, oh you want crushed, the- Crushed red the, peppers. The, okay, okay. Use the credit. Okay, okay, that's what I thought you meant. Oh man. We roast this, it's gonna be off the hook. A little bit of soy sauce, nothing extravagant. This, I think this, you know what I mean? Right? Just boop. I do wanna make sure that I get all this out of the bowl. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna roast this, making sure that we get all of that. I want all of that. And we're gonna roast it at 350 for 30 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes? Edit that. We're gonna roast this for 350 minutes at 15 degrees. Huh? Are you gonna go slow-mo with this one? Like, oh yeah, he's, oh look at him spreading the broccoli. No, we don't need to go slow motion with oh, anything. Should I go slow-mo? No. Oh. Let's spread them out. Get some nice distance. Everything cooks nice and even. I'm getting all of this out of here. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So should I be doing that right now? Well, yeah, yeah, right after you're done with that. So start at 350 and then you're gonna start the rice. And then I get my cigarette break? You'll definitely be close to a cigarette break. Along with being a slumlord, you are a slave driver and it's like, you didn't seem to get the memo. I'm not a slave anymore. I don't have to do this for you, Whitey. It's not a slave thing. <laughs> well, it feels like it. So now we begin to preheat the oven to 350. Well, while that's preheating, we're gonna start some rice. Oh, uh, what was it? One and a half to two cups? Yeah, one and a half to three. One and a half to three. Yeah, one cup to two water. Where's your pot? These, these are all very good questions. Did we already tell the audience what you're doing, that you're going to make some rice while that's preheating? I don't want the audience to know what I'm doing because... That's how a cooking show things, works, though. No, nah, I mean... Yeah, you do things, things and tell them what you're doing, and no, no, there's no secrets. I'm not Julia Child. Okay, no, okay. He's right. we got to walk you through this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cook the rice. We're going with jasmine. Uh, you know, your preference is your preference. You could go with some whole wheat. Normally the ratio is, is about one and a half cups to three cups water. You know what I mean? You see that, that particular mixture? Oh, this would be exciting for the audience. Oh, yeah, they, you, if you guys want to, you can come over here and check out Jimmy at Woodstock. Why else are we over here? Maybe is this where we keep our 25 pound bag of rice? Just use twice as much water. Don't tell me what to do. Do you, do you see my nostrils flaring right now? You see me getting bug-eyed? You don't need to threaten the audience. <laughs> so we got two cups rice. That's two cups water. And that's four cups water. This is the part where, oh yeah. We're going downtown. This is the part where you turn the rice down and just let it simmer 20 minutes. So I'm gonna be using these. No, they're not your nipples, not again. Uh, uh, I'm going to be using these lemons. No, for, not no? as you're not either. Just hold them out to the camera. I'm going to be using these lemons. And we will involve these in cooking without having touched my nipples or genitals. Okay? Please. You take all the fun out of it, huh? So this story begins with a little boy named Nathan Elder. He had a grandma. 
and she had a lemon tree. Little old Nathan Elder decided one day that he was going to take some of those lemons off of that lemon tree and he was going to bring them home and we were going to cook them. We're going to squish one of them, try and get as much lemon juice as we can out of that. And uh, how do you feel about that? Oh, it's good. And then uh, we're talking uh, thinly sliced. These are going to go on top of the fish when we roast it. I want all those seeds up out of that. You correct me if I'm wrong, but you said I was gonna get a cigarette break. Now you just gotta put the broccoli somewhere in, in the, the oven. Somewhere in the... And, okay. and you've got 15 minutes, roughly 18 minutes from right now. All right. Thank you for being a man of your word. For right now, we're, we're ready for the broccoli, yeah? We got 16 minutes, Dougie Fresh, we're on. And then we begin with the salmon. We begin with that whole process. We got it marinating, it's been, uh, it's been about 45 minutes now, I think. You can let that marinate as long as you want. No, you can't. I guess you can. <laughs> Me, personally, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go smoke a cigarette while we're waiting on all this delicious food. And uh, we'll be right back at you after this commercial break, even though there are no commercials. Casey's Crazy Kitchen. Welcome back to Casey's Crazy Kitchen. One thing I do want to tell you, a little hygiene tip for the day, I just came off a smoke break, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash our hands before we touch any food. Three minutes, Dougie Fresh, we're on. So what we want to do is find our cast iron skillet while we're waiting for that. That's a whole other thing. We're, we're... Maybe down below. So we're going about medium. In between, in between a five and a six, because we don't want to burn the butter. That's one thing we don't do, is burn butter around this motherfucker. Hey, did that rhyme? Oh, butter and motherfucker? Yeah, like, you know, we don't burn the butter, motherfucker. One, two. Do the oven first, and then we'll get the butter out. Yeah, I, I, wanted, I wanted to tell the people about how when when you took me from Africa, well, that's great. You, but you brought how about me the over? broccoli? Should we get? Let's get the broccoli. Okay. Then we can get back to the story uh, of Africa. Okay. Then then the story of Africa. <laughs> broccoli first. Yeah. This, is, this is bullshit, Priorities. man. Uh. Yeah, there you go. And now we're gonna add a little salt. Oh. Oh. Do you, do, you, do you like that? It's already that? salty from the like, Do you like that? Yeah, it's good. No, no more. You already have no, it. No, uh, yeah, you're salty. Fresh ground pepper. Here we go. Are you guys watching the stir? We're done with that. And yeah, that's just going to set up set up here. Just butter? No, no. I'm going to put butter on mine. <laughs> okay. Am I getting too close? There is a limit, yeah. Okay. Let them know what we're doing. We are now turning the oven on to 400 degrees. We're gonna do it. Are you not gonna do it? Are you oh, I'm gonna, gonna, oh, gonna oh, do oh, it? Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Cool. You like no, some of that? Just, we're not getting flexy. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, we're not getting flexy. You're gonna get, get some butter out too. This is your chance to shine with butter. You want a butter. No, this is my chance to punch you in the face. Butter. You're, are you you're basically are you kidding? browning the butter? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're stirring it. You've been stirring. I'm melting it. That's it. That's melting. Both browning butter. Okay. Right now, what I'm doing is browning butter. I'm trying to make it the same color as my skin. Not exactly. Not exactly. Okay. You, you know, you're a bad director. Here we go with the lemon juice. They from about Nate's Grandma's Lemon Tree. Oh, man. You look at that. Look at that. Dude. You got to be like Bob Marley. You got to stir it up, man. All right, folks. That right there is what we're looking at. If you could smell this. So this, boys and girls, is the basting. We've, we've been basting about five minutes. Skin side down. Skin side down. 
and then we're gonna throw it in the boiler and get that top side. But first, we're gonna stick some lemon wedges on the top of it. <laughs> We've been at 400 for about six minutes now? About five minutes, yeah. Five minutes, six minutes. And now we're gonna go to broil. And let's see if I can figure out how to do this. That's it, you're broiling. That's com complicated, I know. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's complicated. Two minutes, Dougie Fresh, we're on. The green onions, we're just going a little garnish. Yeah, I saw some thick chunks in there. Yeah, it's not, that's not garnish. <laughs> now see, folks, this, this is where you, you don't want to say something to somebody with a sharp knife. We got the rice. And then here comes the fun part, folks. And I don't, I don't know if you guys thought that I wasn't gonna douse some sauce on there. I'm gonna. All this sauce that we were cooking it in. What's going on my fish? What's going on my broccoli? What's going on my rice? That right there is the plate of food that we're gonna be eating. And I'm gonna start with the salmon. All right. Wow. Uh, tender. Very well cooked. Definitely done. Uh, man, I don't I don't know where I nitpick at this. This is broccoli, ginger, garlic. Mm. like Casey's crazy kitchen made it happen again. Mm. I'm gonna eat all this. We'll join you next time. Mm. Casey's crazy kitchen. But I still want to do the Shooter McGavin thing and like. Is that like your trademark? No, it's not mine. I stole it off of somebody. Casey's crazy kitchen.